Hey everybody, and welcome back. I am going to be checking out some Secret Weapon Scenics Crushed Glass today. And uh, the idea here is that this is supposed to make a really cool uh, icy snow, like melting snow effect. And I almost didn't buy it because, as you might guess from the name, it contains crushed glass. And uh, very fine crushed glass is kind of on the dangerous side. Um, not it, it, it wouldn't kill you necessarily unless you you know inhaled the whole thing or a good chunk of it. But uh, it is likely to you know potentially get airborne and get in your eyes, and you definitely want to wear gloves. Actually, let me read you the uh, the warning here. Warning contains crushed glass. And that's right below where it says crushed glass. Wear ANSI approved safety goggles, heavy duty work gloves, and NIOSH approved dust mask during use. Well, all of those th seem like a good thing to do, with the possible exception of the heavy duty work gloves. I'm not sure exactly how I would use this product while wearing heavy duty work gloves. So, uh,. I'm just going to be wearing my regular uh, nylon. Are these nylon? Vinyl. These are vinyl. Vinyl gloves. And today I'm going to be working on Thagrosh 2. Thagrosh has a nice stony base. And I thought it might be nice to have some kind of melty snow on it. I actually did this guy, the extreme... What you, who's it's uh, Carnivian, uh, and he's got this sort of baked in snow on there. And I figured since he was going to have that, everybody else should have some snow as well. But since these guys are a little bit more realistic, I thought maybe I'd go for a little bit more realistic snow effect. Uh, now I'm going to be using this with Liquitex gloss. There we go. Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, uh, you could conceivably, they, they sell it with um, their water effects, which is essentially a gloss medium, and you could use other gloss mediums and or varnishes as well. This is what I had on hand, and I've already put some into the little receptacle here. And now I'm going to very carefully open this up. I, I, I really am frightened of this material. I kind of think of it like, uh, you know, working with ghost peppers or something where uh, you want to wear gloves while you're working with it and you definitely don't want to touch your face after you've worked with it. I thought this was a really smart idea to use this as a uh, sort of tool to pull it out, but it just wants to roll right off. So I'm going to have to do it a little at a time. In the uh, instructional video that Secret Weapon does, they actually just show him kind of pouring it straight out of this jar. And to me, that seemed like a really kind of haphazard way of transferring the material. So I figured a little spoon might be a good way to do it. And I'm hoping to get it on the, a little bit on the chunkier side. All right, it's got like a little island in the middle there. Uh, let's see, let's zoom in a little bit more. And I'm just gonna mix it up and see where we are. Actually, I just realized something, and that is that if I have some medium on the tool, it'll just stick to it. Oh, I think I need a bunch more. Here, watch. Medium on the tool. There we go. Obviously, if you drop the medium into the glass and it stays there, you're going to end up with these little chunks of snow-like material. So, you don't want to have that happen. So this seems like a reasonable way to do this. It pulls it right out. You can hear the glass kind of scraping on the bottom of the, uh, of the, the pallet here. I'm not quite sure when I'm going to know that I have enough. 
So I guess I'm just going to put some more down and wait. There, you will get different effects depending on the amount of medium that you use. Um, it's either going to look uh, really melty or really chunky. This looks good. I think that's a that seems like a reasonable amount. All right, I'm just going to take some. Let me see. There, you can see the corner there. Take some and just drop it on there. One of the things I have learned since moving to the east coast of the United States here is that there's a lot of different ways that snow and ice can look. And I have been experimenting with various methods for creating snow effects on bases recently. I don't know why I've ended up getting a lot, but I have. Uh, but since I'm around snow kind of half of the year, I have a better sense of what I'm looking for in terms of realism. Ooh, that's really getting chunky. I can see here that it's just really super smooth, and I don't know what that's going to look like when it dries. And I was kind of hoping for something a little chunkier. Actually, there's another way I could do this. Let me spread that out some. And so now that I have that on there, I could take a little bit. Oh, this isn't the best tool for this. Need something flatter. Uh, I can pull some out and sprinkle it on top. And so, if nothing else, I should end up with a super shiny, sparkly icy effect on there. All right. Um, let's try it. One of the things I was thinking was that maybe near his feet, I'd want it to be really chunky. Um, like he's kind of stirred it up some. Like maybe I'm wasting a lot of this, but I have a, another base to do after this. Ooh, that seems really thick now. Oh yeah, that's. You know what? I'm gonna move to a brush here. Spread it out some. I think you could spend a lot of time sort of figuring out the sort of most natural way to place this as you're working with it. Ooh, this is actually starting to... Uh, off of the side there. I'm okay with that. 
it's, it seems to be flowing very slowly, which means that it's going to end up filling in over there, down, down beneath. So that could look interesting. I'm going to let it do that. Little bit between his toes. We haven't actually gotten any snow here yet, which I'm okay with. In fact, it's in the 50s today, which for November is just crazy pants. has been a warm fall and summer. Oh, you're not seeing any of this. I really should keep a better eye on where the camera's pointed. <laughs> I'm putting some on this ledge, but I'm not going to fill in the edge there because I'm I'm assuming that that has uh, nothing has ever accumulated there because it's vertical. But this little ledge, on the other hand, is going to catch some snow and any uh, melt uh, runoff from the melt up above. So it's definitely going to have some. All right, I'm going to continue doing this on my own, and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, uh, this is actually had overnight uh, to dry or to cure out really and the results aren't quite what I expected. They're super cool. This is the other piece I was mentioning that I had to do. Um, actually, let's zoom in so you can kind of get a better look. So what we've got now is a, a really realistic ice look. I like it right down here the best because that really does uh, resemble slushy snow. Actually, right there, that looks that looks more like what I was expecting. I gotta say, in in reality, in real life, it's not quite that white. Um, it's it's more transparent, but it's got a really nice sparkle to it, which I don't know that you're getting. Uh, but the effect is super super realistic. What it looks to me like is um, there was a snowfall and then it it's the the temperature has been changing so you've kind of been getting uh, a thaw on the snow and whereas on this part here because it was large and flat area it actually turned to ice but it's now starting to thaw so it's very very transparent and where he's moved through he's churned up the ice and it's turned into slush and I like it like I said super realistic and I imagine if I wanted to get more of a, a snowy look I'd need to add a different um, a different material, maybe another snow flock to bring out more white to it. And I think next time I play with this stuff, I'm going to experiment with that some more. I'm actually going to be doing the uh, Glacier King next is my next project after I uh, get these all sent out. I'm actually in the process of assembling it right now. Uh, and that'll give me another opportunity to play with it, and you'll get to see it then. But I think that's going to be it for now. I'm, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of impressed. It's a uh, it's very neat and uh, very neat effect. I've actually played with another thing 
which was a, um, a gel medium with glass beads in it. And the difference is, of course, the glass beads are much aren't as fine as the crushed glass, but you get a very similar, similar icy look to it. Um, but I like this a lot better. This is definitely much more realistic. Uh, if you if you ever have gone to my Flickr account, uh, you look at my War Machine album, and you'll see some Kador stuff that has uh, various snow effects. Perhaps I will put a, a link in the description so that you can just go straight there. But that's going to be it for now. Uh, I think this is a successful but kind of unexpected result for the Secret Weapon Crush Glass. And that's going to do it for now, and I will talk to you all later.